dumpster fire. Like legit dumpster fire, everything. Everything is in hypnotic dumpster fire. I have to be more organized. Dumpster fire. It's not quite as bad back here. Not quite. We're going to talk about all this stuff today and a bunch more. Come along. Hey, good morning, fish heads. This is Jen Cravassi at Jekyll Bates. Today is Tuesday, May 30th. 2023. This is your workshop update. I had uh, a long weekend here. I've been filming up in the mountains over the weekend with Daniel Massingale at On the Fly Excursions, fly fishing guide and friend, avid angler, um, swim bait buddy, a whole nine yards. He's been my ride or die angling bud since I got to Georgia, which is super cool. Um, love hanging out with him and I got to film this weekend a couple of couple of different sets of clients for him which was a blast had a great time didn't fish just filmed which is something completely different for me um love doing it hardly ever get the time to do it but i'm forcing myself to do different things this this year as a side to i'm still in here like 12 13 hour days sometimes but i didn't hardly take any time off last year at all so really excited to just kind of do some different stuff this stuff is hot off the presses. I've got a bunch of stuff to talk about. So we're going to get into all of that. I've got some orders going out. I'm still catching up on orders from over the show season when we were hammered. This is uh, for Scott Bishop. He's got eight pieces. It's been on the, uh, on the rack for a while, but I wanted to kind of showcase it and get it out this week because I know he's been waiting for it and he's been super, super patient, as have you all. I seem to say that in every video. So we're going to get to that. And you're looking at, yeah, that's not my normal perch, but um, he asked for the specific pattern that was on here before, and I'll show you a shot of that. And that's what he wanted me to recreate. So I did my very best. How do you guys think I did? Okay, hopefully, hopefully he's happy. So I went ahead because he seemed to like that pattern. He asked for perch on probably five of the eight pieces, peacock bass on a couple and a crappie on a couple. So um, we went ahead and did that perch pattern for him on the Rapala jointed baits. These are the J11s. And they're, you can tell they're aged. You can see how worn that bill is and yellowed. Can't get those bills to come back. Unfortunately, that's going to be, but it's still a great, great lure. So that's the pattern that he had requested on this one. Then I went ahead and put that as perch on the other two. And then he asked for my perch pattern on these Mega Bass 110s. So we've got that. Hopefully you guys had a good Memorial Day weekend. I was working. You could not pay me enough money to be on the water on Memorial Day weekend because there's a lot of amateurs out there, um, a lot of partying going on out there, and I prefer to fish where it's not crowded. And a lot of times when I am fishing, I'm doing prototype testing for either colorways or for Mike or for uh, just a myriad of different things. And then we have a couple of peacock bass that he wanted. It's got such a good rattle to it. On a couple of those. And then we have the traditional crappy pattern. Very pretty baits. So these are going out to you, finally, finally. Thank you for your patience. Um, and it's okay to yell at me, it really is. It's just stay in communication with me. I know some of you guys know that I had issues with the entire Microsoft platform. We've got blowers. It's going to be blowers and weed eaters and all kinds of stuff. So it's a really nice day outside. The wind, there's like real nice breeze. And it smells great when they cut the grass outside of the shop. So we're in kind of a industrial park, you would say, here at Bullshed Swim Baits. And I am going to cut just for a couple seconds so that the guys can swing by and go right in front of the shop because it's going to get loud here for a second. So stand by. So I did a couple of 1.5 
bluegills and 2.5 i've got a few of those um this these are orders that i just had made some extra pieces to finish off the batch of these that i got from timmy Consani over at crossroads custom tackle um, quality products i've been getting from him lately um I used to deal almost primarily with, or almost exclusively, with Dinger and Cedar Run, but Dinger went out of business and it was really, really sad. And then I got into swim baits and I've been doing swim baits pretty much nonstop. And now occasionally you guys have really been asking for some crankbaits and some crankbait videos and some paint videos, which I've got some stuff in the works. I've got a really cool, um, really cool one coming up for you guys in the way of spray sessions. I got a dragon sculpture for, from Bill Santana, which I'm pretty stoked. And I think I'm going to do that, like completely start to finish in a spray session. So you guys can see kind of the way I do dragon skin and stuff like that. I think that'll be a fun video, something different. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing that, drop a comment, let me know, and uh, we'll, we'll get it done for you guys. But these are fun. There's a little bit of color shift going on in this pattern these are online right now i'm getting ready to put them on the website so by the time you guys click that jekyllbaits.com um, in the description these guys will be on there as are these beautiful shads now i only did a limited run of these there's only a few of them online because they were customer order and these are extras so i don't know if the camera does any kind of justice to the sparkle coolness that's going on with this this is almost that Tennessee shad color in green but it's more of a bone green and when Mike was looking at him yesterday before he grabbed all of his stuff and went fishing he's like it almost reminds me of a table rock color so yeah I guess I could see that too but just got some cool stuff you can see some color shift underneath these uh the scale stencil that I did so just a little bit different than what I'm used to doing, but I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and find some stuff that I can put into a video for you guys. Um, anyways, moving on. I've got some gill warts, and uh, these were the last of, I had like a batch of 20, and I had an order for 10 or 11 for a customer that I'd been sitting on for gosh, a couple of months and got that order finished and said, well, let's just go ahead and finish off the batch. So very translucent, transparent, lots of flash and bling and pop in there. Just cool, cool, cool little, little gill patterns. Nice and shiny for summer for you guys, for the breeding gills. There's either gill spawn or post spawn uh, the bass should be just about in full-blown post-spawn all over the country right now, with exception to like super, super northern areas, like the northwest coast and northeast coast, the like Maine and New Hampshire and stuff like that. You guys are probably still in spawn or just at the tail end of spawn. We're coming into June. This is the last week of May. This is that really cool little kind of a red breast it's a long year and I've got like a foil deal going on underneath that I don't know if you can see how shiny that is but very pretty pattern these are also live on the website it's limited small batch run so if you want to grab one you better do it in the next couple of days because they will not be around for long this is that that one tap awesome wake bait this is as well it's a very loud one tap which some of my favorite stuff to paint are the one taps these have got a heavy knocker in it and then you can hear the little metal bbs these are not plastic they're actually metal which i like i, I never got maybe you guys do maybe it's just me i never got into the sound of the plastic bbs just it gives off a different sound and it just sounds cheap and doesn't sound like anything that's really foraging on the bottom to me. So I try to, I try to keep it as real and natural as possible. Those are the 1.5 versions of those going out to John Johnstone today. So hopefully you guys have got, Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you, I have some resin stuff on there. 
I still have just a couple of these. They're not going to hang out for long. And if you guys are interested in resin swim baits, these are a great introductory bait to get into. It's just pitch and wind. So chuck and wind, you just bomb it out there, maybe count it down a couple of seconds. Keep it upper level, although you can count it down like you would anything else. If you want it a little bit lower in the water, it's because it's a slow sinking, a little bit lower in the water column. And these are retailing right at 110. But they are hand poured resin, everything from Bullshad, as most of you guys probably know already. They are hand poured right here in the shop that I paint in, in Ackworth, Georgia. And then I've got some 4x4 deeps on my website, also with a knocker, single knocker. And that's a metal BB in there. That color shift on the top. And that's the deep. And we're going to explain the differences. And the 4x4. Four four. So the deep is going to run 4 to 6 feet. It's born to come over cover, just like the 4x4. Four four. It's like a, throwing a great big crankbait. Um, if you've got a rod that handles up to 2 ounces, uh, my Falcon Lowriders do. I've got some Falcon Lowriders that before I got swim bait rods, I could throw lighter swim baits on those. It can handle that load. Or if you're really into it, go get yourself a Dobbins Mike Buca 836 or 835. Either one of those will handle these beautifully. These weigh just around 1.8 ounces, maybe right around two. And then the four by four runs two to three feet deep. Great big, think, think of a 2.5 square bill. Think of this guy right here, just bigger. You see how that lip is pushed out? It's born to dig down, come over cover, come over rocks. Same principle with these, just bigger. Big bait, big fish. You guys have seen all the posts on Instagram. You've seen all the posts on Facebook, TikTok, everywhere. Swim baits just flat out work. So these are on the website right now. They're not going to hang out long. I've just got a few of each. And the peacock bass, I've got like two left online. And then we've got some crankbaits. So check out all the drops. Just um, when you go to the website, just look for merch drops under the shop section. There should be direct links right there. If you're on Instagram, just hit my link tree in the bio and you guys can find it there. And YouTube, there's direct links to the website. Just go to shop and merch drops and you're right there. And that is all the news that's fit to print right now. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Um, I will see you on the next video. This magwort, this is a legit pre-rapala, rapala. It's a pre-rap, it's a magwort. And it's online, so there you go. And we might talk about these trick shads a little bit because they are gaining popularity. There's a lot of people fishing these things. They have been show only and in shop only. And you guys probably saw Edwin Evers rocking it at the Red Crest on these. Placed third. And uh, really, really fun, cool bait. Swim bait. We're going to talk about that next on next week's Shop Update. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Baits.
Three pounds, six ounces. <laughs> 